what's up everyone i am back with another slay sunday happy spooky season so since it is october i am going to be every sunday this month i'm going to be doing a halloween inspired tutorial so this week i'm starting up with the joker 2019 version I'm super excited to see this movie. I'm actually going to see it on Tuesday. So I just wanted to give my take on it. So what I'm starting out with is this wet and wild paint um, palette or paint pot. And I'm going in and putting that all over my face to have a white base. So even though I was initially going in with my finger, I realized that that was going to take far too long so I decided to get a brush instead and that just made the process a lot quicker and easier to do. So for any of you who have seen the Joker so far, what are your thoughts on it? I'm really curious to know, even though I am going to see it this week, I was just curious what you guys thought about the movie. Um, I absolutely adored Heath's version of the Joker in The Dark Knight, um, but I'm really curious to see how Joaquin does, uh, because one, it's going to be different because it's a little more of an origin story, but also Joaquin is really good at playing just weird and creepy people um and he lost hella weight for this i'm like are you okay anyway but i was just curious to know for any of you who have seen the joker what your thoughts are on it Now just to set all of the paint, I'm going in with my James Charles Morphe palette and I am taking that white shade and I am buffing that all over my face to set the paint. So now for more of the fun part, I am going in to my eyes. So I'm going in with those two blue shades in my James Charles palette and I am going to start by making those triangles um, on the lower part of my face, going down my face. <laughs> And so for this, I'm not caring if it's like super precise because, you know, when looking at all the reference photos and stuff, his makeup, it's not very clean cut. I mean, you know, like the triangles are uneven and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really going for messy but organized. <laughs> and also this is my take on it. Like I'm really not trying to do an exact replica of his makeup. It's really just, I wanted to give my spin on it and kind of what I would do. And so yeah.
So as you can see, I made my two bottom triangles uneven. I made the one on the left, or well, I guess on you guys' right, um, I made that um, shorter than the other one. And so now I'm just moving on to my lids. And so I'm just creating two more triangles. And I really tried to align the points of the triangles as best as I could. So I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to my eyes, make them a little darker. So I decided to go back in with my James Charles palette and go in with that black shade and just kind of place that in the center of both of the triangles. And I decided to repeat that step on my lids. So now that my eyes are done, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. So I'm going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. Um, I actually found this in TJ Maxx uh, sometime last year. It was, it's originally like 40 something bucks and I got it for like 20, so it was a steal. So anyway, I'm going in with that red lipstick shade and I am placing that, I'm creating my clown nose. And since the Joker has red eyebrows, I am taking that same red shade that I used for my nose and putting that, I'm tracing my brows with it. This felt so weird because I've never seen my brows any other color than what they naturally are, so, but you know, that's what the look is. And lastly, with that same red lipstick shade, I am filling in my lips. And also, so to create those, you know, that kind of winged out effect with your lips, when you trace the bottom of your lips to fill that in, just kind of follow along with that line, that smile line, and that'll really help kind of get the shape of that, that winged out effect.
So kind of how I was feeling about my eyes, I wanted to add a little bit more dimension and color to my lips as well. So I'm going in with the black shade in that Anastasia lip palette and I am blending that in with the red. And voila, that is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I had fun doing it. And I will see you next week for Slay Sunday Spooky Edition. Bye.